He was the sixth overall pick to the Indiana Pacers just a couple of weeks ago, and now he is here on NBA Today. Mr. Ben Matherin, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. We appreciate you being here. Um, we're in Las Vegas for the Summer League. Is it still surreal? To, you're, you're sitting here in your Pacers warm-up. You just came from practice. Is this experience still surreal for you? Um, I wouldn't say it's still surreal to me. Um, you know, draft night happened two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and uh, I knew Summer League was right around the corner, yep. and, uh, you know, I'm really pretty excited to play Summer League. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the last time you were in Las Vegas, he, he just scored a casual 27, we don't need to hear what team 27 points. Yeah, we won't do no, that. No, no, but look, 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 real quickly, can I thank you, though, because after y'all lost at UCLA, Matt was, he was texting me, he was posting stuff on social media, talking all that nonsense, so when y'all got the get back, <laughs> when y'all got the get back, I appreciate that. So, so just playing in Vegas, does that mean there's some special juju that's still here for you for summer league I hope so maybe it might be <laughs> yeah, well, there you go all right well I can't have you here and not ask you about a couple of weeks ago you said that about LeBron James I think he's the best player to ever play in the game but me coming into this league I'm not going to say that anybody is better than me how do you reflect on that now um I mean this is pretty the way I, I, I wanted to say it before I really had to clarify my comment. <laughs> everybody came at me but um like you said you know I'm, I'm a rookie coming to the league I won't let anybody you know, I, I won't say anybody's better than me. Yeah. I'm going to have to go out there and uh, people will have to show me that they're better than me. So, well, I, yeah, I showed it to him. I showed him and I showed him and, and he I was like, is this it, what do you think of this? And and I'm lying because he didn't respond to my text. Like I said, <laughs> he didn't respond to me. But you're not lacking confidence. You sat up here and you're like, who's the greatest Wildcat ever? And I'm sitting here like, oh, you know, Sean Allen, you're like, no, 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 it's me. And you're like, well, then who's the greatest zero? Your confidence. How much of that has gotten you to this point? Because we're all confident individuals, but like the irrational confidence. Oh, of no, like, it's rational. No, no, it's no, no, rational. No, 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 no. You have to have a rational confidence. And I, I say that in a positive way. Do you think that that confidence is something that's going to keep pushing you, trying to work so that you can back up these statements? For sure. Mm -hmm. um, you know, growing up, I always uh, wanted to be the best. Everything I was doing, um, I just never let anybody tell me I couldn't do anything. So, um, and I never let, you know, everything I used to do, I used to prove people wrong. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to, 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 to back up my things, like you said, but also um, learning. Yeah. Is there process. anything off of the court? I'm curious. This, this, it, we know that when you're competitive like this, it doesn't just extend to basketball. It extends to yeah, every like, little thing you do. Is there other things that you can think of that you're like, oh, no, like no one can beat me at? Yeah, I mean, it's just me as a person. <laughs> I just think. I'm, a, I'm. I mean, I'm the best at everything I can do. Yeah. If we take a, I love it. A cup of water. water. I'm gonna make You're sure gonna I do finish it faster. You're gonna do faster. Yeah, it's pretty much like this. See, there you go. I Matt. love that kind of confidence as a former player and just as someone older. I love when younger players bring this kind of energy to the game because I think it's needed. And obviously, you know, you're gonna raise some antennas and everyone's gonna want to see what you can do. So that's gonna put you on a spot where we know you'll perform only in summer league. But what are you looking forward to once the season comes? Uh, pretty much just, you know, having an impact already, you know, bringing the team to a, to a different level. Um, you know, Pacers has been one of my favorite team all time. Okay. So just um, putting double zero on my back, uh, Matherin representing myself, but also the team. I'm just looking forward to, uh, to have a lot of wins and uh, just have an impact already. Any players or teams you're looking forward to playing? Anyone in particular? I know everybody. Yeah, we already, see, we already, yeah, we already said one. He is he Outside of Braun. Anybody else? I'm not going to say anything right <laughs> now. Everybody will come. But well, you learned. I'm really, I'm, yeah, I'm really yeah. excited to play against, you know, yeah. a lot of rookies and uh, a couple of players in the right. NBA. Okay. I am curious, though, someone like Draymond Green, right, who plays with so much confidence, he says that he remembers the name, and obviously he was picked much, much later than you were in the second round, but he remembers the name of every single player that was picked before him, and he wanted to say, hey, just making sure everyone knows, like, I, I, I know this, and I'm going to bring my best, especially against these types of folks. Are you that type of person? For sure. <laughs> I mean, you know, five guys were drafted ahead of me. I know exactly who was drafted ahead of me. Um, you know, I just, I just, I just keep it in my mind, and every time I get the chance to step on the court, um, it's another opportunity to, uh, you know, to prove myself. So, as the sixth pick, when you're a top ten pick, top five pick, there's a tremendous amount of pressure, but there's also also opportunity that is given to to a player. They're like, hey, we got to get him out there. We got to get him some some work, some work and some time. Is there one area of your game that specifically, and then I'll tell you the area that I think you should. Is there one area that you specifically are working on right now to prepare you for that next phase? Oh, uh, just pretty much being comfortable on defense. You know, you know, off the ball defense. 
um, you know, it was one of the main things I needed to improve to be a complete two-way player. Mm -hmm. And that's that's one thing I'm really trying to become a two-way player. Well, and that was going to be the advice that I give you, Matt, myself. Yep. We earn playing time as young players focusing in on defense. Because once you focus in on defense, your minutes will go from 10 to 20. And then if you're on the court from 10 to 20, you get more chances at shots. Right. So then your offense gets and better. it's not even so much the on the ball, it's just placement. You know, obviously you're a, an elite defender already, but just understanding, you know, cutting the court off and angles and, and, and all that kind of stuff, I think, is, is what helps a lot. But taking you back to college, you know, obviously Pac-12 guys here. What are your thoughts on everyone kind of jumping ship and going to different conferences? Uh, USC and UCLA are on their way out. There's talks of Arizona leaving the Pac-12, although you're, you left that behind. What are your thoughts on kind of the dismantling of the Pac-12? Um, I would say it's, it, it is kind of crazy, to be honest. You know, all them years, um, you know, it was like Pac-10, then it went to Pac-12. So I might become Pac-9, but right. it's going to be a little crazy. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I'm, money. I'm here for it. For sure. money. Yeah. Wow. It's the money. Ben Matherin, right. thank you so much for joining us here on NBA Today. And just be glad that Richard Jefferson is not refereeing one of your games. We appreciate <laughs> the time. Who said I'm not? Who said I'm not? I said you're not. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.